Hey everyone, welcome back where we were testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we are testing all of the American made masks. Excited to look at California Health Technology. Let's put it in the clamper and see what we get. All right. Ooh, nice. It's a black mask. Looks good. Let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine particulate filtration efficiency. Check out the other video if you want to find out more about that. All right. I have not heard of these guys either, which is interesting. Made in the USA, kind of like the logo. Box isn't soft touch. It's the least soft touch box I've ever seen. That's not true. Uh, you can go to their website, uh, chtus.com. We protect the health of people with care and innovation. Uh, seems to be one of these guys that stood up in the middle of the pandemic as well. There's really not a lot about them on their website, um, but they seem pretty legit. We bought these on Amazon, of course. They're black masks. Looking at the box, it says BFE uh, 95%. Again, BFE is not an important marker uh, for COVID. The bacteria is huge. You care about PFE, which is what this machine tests, ASTM level one, uh, also means that the BFE is 95%. So let's take a look at the mask. Oh, I like this. It comes in packs of 25, black, looks like an extra thick black outer layer. Probably 40, 50 GSM, that's a thickness. Really thin uh, ear loops, so I'm thinking they might break, but I don't know, the construction is actually pretty good. I will ding them five points for the, the fact that they're putting the ear loops on the inside. You want the ear loops to be um, molded on the outside. And the reason for that is you're gonna get more of a gap if it's affixed on the inside. You want it to pull from the outside, it's gonna pull better. The nose wire is actually very, very small. Uh, it's because the fabric's so thick, it's, it's really hard to get a good seal, um, which means if you're wearing glasses, it's gonna fog up a little bit, probably. Um, so it's not terrible, but it's, it's not ideal either. Now let's test the, uh, the ear loops. That's pretty good. These are gonna break a little bit. These aren't the best. Yeah, that's a, if you, the, the old Lloyd two-pole test, uh, you're gonna break every time, but I don't think this is gonna break on your face. I don't think it's going to come off of your face. All right, um, let's do the smell test. Oh, interesting. I, it smells like nothing. That's the smell. Nothing. Wow. I, maybe, maybe I have COVID. <laughs> Can we make that joke yet? Um, I literally don't smell a thing on this mask. That's incredible, All right? Good job on that, guys. 25 points. Breathability is pretty good, 84.90. It's really, really breathable. Um, but again, breathability, more breathable, usually the less it uh, filters, so you gotta watch for that. But does any of that stuff matter if it doesn't protect you? Now remember, they are claiming to be ASTM level one on the box, which is the minimum standard in the United States, which is great. If they make it, 95% filtration. What does the machine say? Oh! <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. 86.214, 86.214. Way off. That is not ASTM level one. ASTM level one again minimum is 95%. So I would not recommend this mask. I've not heard of these guys either, which is kind of weird. Again, like uh, there's about four or five folks in here um, that I've never heard of before. And we, you know, us mask manufacturers stick together. Um, so it's kind of weird that I haven't heard of them. Um, probably a small operation that, uh, you know, isn't really watching their numbers. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this, would love a like or a subscribe or not, you know, you could steal my dog, punch him in the face. I don't have a dog, so that wouldn't be possible. Catch you on the next test.